this patient was referred to me 12 years ago. As you can see right here, 12 years ago for endodontic treatment of tooth number 30. Tooth was prepped for a crown. She had the permanent crown cemented with temporary cement because tooth was still hurting her after the tooth was prepped for a crown and all of that stuff. The dentist wanted to make sure the crown, the tooth was okay before she, before um, the uh, permanent crown was cemented with permanent cement. Anyways, um, patient continued to have pain symptoms and then was referred to me. You can see a periapical relucency here. So again, uh, tooth was prepped for a crown and uh, the permanent crown was cemented with temporary cement. So we went ahead and uh, removed the permanent crown because, as I said, it was cemented with temporary cement and did the root canal in one appointment. Take a look. And here it is. This is immediately after we did the root canal again in one appointment and you can see the periapical relucency here. And look at this. Accidentally, gutta percha was extruded out the canal. Accidentally. And again, you can see the periapical relucency here. And here's the date, as you can see, 12 years ago when we did this root canal. So, tooth was abscessed, periapical relucency, yet we did the root canal in one appointment. Got a percha extrusion. Will all of these affect the outcome of endodontic treatment? We did the root canal in one appointment versus multiple appointments because... The pulp was necrotic and there was a periapical relucency. And also, got a percha extrusion. Will those cause endodontic failure? Will those cause this root canal to fail? Again, you can see 12 years ago when we did this root canal. This was just now, today. 12 years post op of tooth number 30. And here's the date. 12 years post-op of tooth number 30, the periapical relucency is healed completely. The gutta percha, that extruded gutta percha, is gone. 12 years post-op of tooth number 30. So we did the root canal in one appointment, did not affect the outcome of endodontic treatment. Gutta percha was extruded to the outside, didn't affect the outcome of endodontic treatment. Again, here it is was just now today 12 years post op of tooth number 30 let me show you a different angulation that's another angulation and that's another angulation again here it is 12 years post op of tooth number 30 endodontic treatment on an abscess tooth in one appointment is fine as long as the criteria to do the root canal in one appointment are met as long as the canals are dry before obturation and that's what we did we did this root canal in one appointment despite the fact that there was a periapical relucency and pulp was necrotic and got a percha extrusion did not affect the outcome of the endodontic treatment there you go 12 years post-op of tooth number 30 and again here it is, 12 years post-op of tooth number 30.